Hey everyone, welcome back to the LipKit Laboratory YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing our DIY eyeshadow palette kit tutorial. This will show you step by step everything you need to do to create your own pressed eyeshadows. Here we are using our blushy DIY eyeshadow palette, which is sort of a pink and neutral toned palette. Everything inside that you receive is the empty nine pan palette. It's magnetic, so the pans will fit into the wells magnetically. You get a patterned powder press. For plushie, it's a heart quilt type pattern. You get a foot of pressing ribbon. It's a faux silk, so it is vegan. You get a plain pressing pattern for your basic powders. And there are the nine magnetic pans that you'll be filling. Also within the kit are nine pre-selected powder colors for your eyeshadow palette. We do have a build your own palette if you wanna select your own nine colors. There's also going to be a little clamshell with zinc stearate, which is the binding agent for your pressed powders. You'll have your mixing beaker, your spatula, and your mini scoop as well. Now dump your powder color into your beaker and add one even mini scoop of the zinc stearate for each color. Now you're gonna slowly add in your mixing liquid. It's gonna take about 30 to 50 drops altogether. I usually add about 30 and give it a stir and see how it's setting up from there. Every powder color responds to the mixing medium a little bit differently, so some take less and some take more, so that's why we just add a few drops at a time. This color that we're working with here is called Pearl. Still a little chunky as you can see, so I'm adding just a few more drops. I got to about 50 drops with this color. The texture that you're going for is sort of like wet sand. You want it to be liquidy, but not runny. Right here is about perfect. This is where we pour, or scoop rather. So get your pan ready. Go ahead and just scoop your eyeshadow mixture right into that pan. Please excuse the glare on our stainless steel table there. Make sure you get every little last bit of eyeshadow mixture into your pan. And go ahead and set it aside. We're going to mix up all the colors in this video. This here I believe is, uh, that was sand. This one is honey. Here is rose gold. You see they all have that wet sand sort of texture. That's the perfect consistency for pouring your pans. There we have espresso. Here is lunar. We have fuchsia. This one is blush, and as you can see, it's a little bit more fluid than the others. I accidentally added a few too many drops. It will set up, it just might take a little bit longer. And that last one is pink there. And there are all nine pans sitting to dry. I waited 24 hours, I came back. They are all mostly set. There is still some residual moisture in the pans as you'll see when we press, but they are still able to be pressed. As long as they are not wet and goopy when you just sort of tap your finger on the top, they're ready to go. Get your pressing ribbon, lay it over the eyeshadow, get your pressing tool and press as hard as you can. Use all of the might that you can muster to get these pans pressed evenly and firmly. You'll see with this one, I'm about to hold it up for you. I wasn't fully even when I was pressing, so you'll see that it is a little bit crooked. That's okay. It's still going to work fine. We're just going to try to be more even next time. Here's espresso. When you're working with your pressing ribbon, just sort of move down to the next area. You'll see the ribbon's a little bit wet. That's from that residual pressing, or me uh, mixing medium, excuse me, that soaks into the ribbon. That's not a big deal. As long as they are not goopy when you touch them, they can be pressed. I would still recommend letting them set another 24 hours before using the palette. But you can press them now and that will increase the stability overall. You can see that espresso one was also a little bit uneven. I'm gonna press more evenly for the rest of the palette here because I don't want them to be crooked looking. 
Now we're gonna press fuchsia. As you can see, I'm just working down the ribbon. Once you're done with your palette, you can wash the ribbon out, let it dry, and then reuse it over and over again. There's no limit to how much you can use the pressing ribbon. There's fuchsia. It's got a nice sheen to it. Here is honey, one of my all-time favorite colors. firm press. We press our powders so they are more stable and they don't just crack and fall apart if you were to accidentally drop your palette. It also makes them look a little more uniform as well. Now, this is going to be the center color of my palette and this is where I want to use my patterned pressing tool. You can arrange your colors in any order in your palette that you want, and you can also use the pattern pressing tool on whichever colors you want and place it wherever you want in the palette. I wanted to use it on the center color, and I liked this pearl color in the center because the others just looked very symmetrical around it. Look how beautiful that pattern is. Make sure you press really hard. You're gonna get a beautiful pattern on top of your eyeshadow. Here we've got rose gold. I'm back to my plain pressing tool. And just keep pressing firmly and evenly on each eyeshadow as you go. Here we have Lunar. I've noticed Lunar is one of the wetter pigments to mix up. You'll see the ribbon really soaks up some liquid, but then watch when I lift the ribbon. A little bit of liquid even evaporates into that powder. Look, it just soaks right in. We're definitely going to give these an extra 24 hours so those volatile silicones in our mixing liquid can evaporate just a little bit more. There's sand. And last, we have pink. Time to put them in our palette. I had arranged them how I wanted them to go into the palette beforehand. I like to see how they look ahead of time. You can take them in and out of the palette quite easily. There's that little dip in each well that makes removing the pan super easy. So if you wanna rearrange it at any time, you can. Swap out other colors, you can. We've got a lot of options here. I really like the symmetry, the way I arranged this palette. I love that pattern powder in the center there. I just think it looks great. And there we have it. This is our plushy DIY eyeshadow palette kit from Lip Kit Laboratory. We have six other DIY palettes available as well as a build your own eyeshadow palette at lipkitlaboratory.com. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great time making your eyeshadows.